안녕하세요 션모바일입니다 오늘은 구독자님께서 요청하신 QCL에 대해서 한번 알아보도록 하겠습니다 Today, let's start in the QCL We will cover brief QCL part as requested by our subscribers h a s h i k o located QCL is used to assist in UE where two channels with similar characteristics allow one channel's quality to be used to determine the quality of antenna channel For example, here is the channel A and here is the channel B Two channels is different channel but if two antenna port is set to QCL it means they can share the quality of each channel indicating similar in channel qualities such as delay spread For example Consider the DL resources structure as shown in the diagram, including PDCCH, PDSH, DRS, and CSRS, with the DMRS for PDSH and PDCH DMRS. This is one of the examples. This is a PDSCH DMRS. This is TRS, and this is a PDSCH DMRS, and this is a CSIRS. This mapping resources is uh, allocation is just example but here you can see pdcch here is the dmrs here and this is pdsh dmrs and this area is pdsch dmrs assist in assisting the quality of pdcch and pdsh enabling appropriate resource allocation for the channel rather than measure the pdcch and PDSCH DRMRS measurements are used to make judgment this scenario quality as QCL so UE do not measure directly PDCH and PDSH UE just measure DMRS demodulation reference signal to DMRS and PDSH logical antenna port is different but every PDSH PDCH DMRS just measure but do not measure Uh, PDSH and PD are said to be quality quasi co-located. Therefore, channels are different, but they can be determined to have the same quality, enabling measurement of only one channel. Since PDSH quality actual uh, resources allocation to be determined, process measurement is challenging. In such case, t m r s performance, for instance. There are cases where SSB used to be as a single beam and multi beams. When the UE goes to another beam, for example, UE located here and UE located here, then this UE just moved to here, then there's used only single beam. But in, in these multi beam cases, UE shipped to the here, then here is the SSB block 1. area so in that case each ssb is such undergo the block change however instead of solid rela relating on ssb determine can be made using other channel then through qcl tci transmission configuration indicator configuration becomes possible common channels can be represented through the max e DCI. So that means UE just, lo just locating here SSB block 0 to ship to the here. Then we need to measure the SSB block. But in that case, we do not use the SSB block measurements. We use uh, through the QCL. So let's see the more detailed information. Swiss PP introduced the concept of QCL to help the UE with its channel estimation, frequency offset estimation, synchronization process. For example, if two antenna ports are categorized as being QCL in terms of de delay spread, then UE can determine the delay spread for one antenna port and then apply the result to both antenna parts. 3PP specified four characteristics, as you can see, of the QCL relationship with the rubber A, B, C, and D. So type A, type B, type C, type D. So every type, they contain different kind of the resources. So the uh, duplet shift, d u p l e spread, and average delay, and delay spread. For example, type 4 is special RX parameters, very different. 
CSRS resources parameter non-zero power CSRS resource set configured in that uh, the parameter is the TRS info. So you should expect the TCI state indication. So for example, type A is for CSRS resources and it also contains the TRS info. And type B is almost similar, but type D is not applicable. Type C is for SSPPCH block. Type D is for DL receiver signal AOL. This is PDSSH DMRS and PDSH DMRS. In that case, we can see the type D. So this is configuration. TCI state PDSSH to at risk. So TCI, there's a resource signal SSB index 0. And here you can see to share type C and SSB1 is for uh, type C. And here too, uh, SSB index 2 type 3, type C. This is TCI or uh, TCI configuration uh, and this configuration also non zero power CSI resource set. And PDSH and Maxi are used to active up to 8 of the configuration TCI. Non zero power CSI resource set is here is a compute and TRS info through and then here non-zero power CSI resource SSB so every time they transmit the signal then measure the UE measure that information and then use for the SSB beam change the UE do not measure directly SSB beam index and just measure through the TRS in this case we call QCR thank you